Hi there, this is Paola with Bark. In this video, let's talk about adding a contact, managing your contacts, syncing your contacts. Let's get into it. First, open the apps list. On the Bark phone, for example, you do so by swiping up from the home screen. In the app list, I'm looking for the contacts app. Usually it has a little avatar guy that looks like this. Once in here, I'm gonna look for that plus sign, add a contact. The first thing I need to do is select where I want to add the contact to. There's the phone storage, there's Google Drive storage, uh, and a couple of other options, but I highly recommend the Google account storage. This makes it easy for transferring from any phone down the line, whether it be an Android or an iPhone. You can use the Google account contact sync and make sure your contacts stay backed up. Then you just fill it out. You don't have to fill every line out. There's a lot of different lines it has depending on how granular you wanna get with a contact. Most kids are just gonna do the first name and the phone number, but they might add an email address here or there, or maybe a second phone number. If contact approval is enabled in Bark, when they add a contact, they'll get a prompt asking them if they wanna submit it for approval. In this case, I will do that. And that's it. That's adding a contact. I wanna cover a couple more settings in contacts. If you click the hamburger menu and you click on manage contacts, you'll see that you have a few tools that are pretty cool for merging, importing, exporting, and syncing contacts. And while we're here, go ahead and click into sync contacts. This might already be set up, but if not, it's super easy. Add a Google account for syncing. Make sure it's your kid's Google account though. The reason you want it to be your kid's and not your own Google account as a parent is because It'll start to save your contacts as theirs and vice versa. And you, you don't want to muddy the waters with that. Just have them use their own Google account for syncing their contacts. From a housekeeping perspective, I did realized a bit late that I was adding contacts in different ways. So that meant I didn't have one single source of truth of where all my contacts were stored, even though it felt that way. Uh, that's what this feature is for. Uh, I have three contacts on the SIM card that I want to move to the Google account, so they're all under my Google account, and it makes it super easy to switch it over. And lastly in this menu, uh, the Merge Contacts tool is really, really neat. Uh, I know I've imported contact backups where I had a bunch of duplicates, and this tool helped fix that right up in a matter of seconds. And finally, the hamburger menu has a gear icon at the top. Click into it, it just has a couple more customization options. For example, you can choose to sort contacts or display contacts by last name rather than by first name. But that's it. You now have a better understanding of the contacts app on most Androids like the Bark phone. And stay tuned for the other videos in the series that can help you out with any other Android topics that you may not be as familiar with. In the meantime, if you have any additional questions, don't hesitate to reach out to us at help at bark.us.